How is it tied to brain function uh, in, in basic terms? Yes. Yeah, so choline is essentially the precursor to acetylcholine. What is acetylcholine? Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter. You can think about it as a chemical uh, messenger signal. Um, what it does, it mediates a lot of uh, behaviors. It is released in synapses that allow neurons to communicate, and it produces a lot of important functions for us. So for example, learning and memory relies on acetylcholine. If you don't have adequate uh, acetylcholine, um, thereby not, not enough choline, that's gonna, you know, that behavior is going to be affected. Um, it's also important in what's called the neuromuscular junction. So you can think about the projections from your spinal cord that are part of your central nervous system that are going to synapse to skeletal muscles that allow us to move our muscles, right? Acetylcholine allows that to happen, right? So if you're deficient in acetylcholine, a lot of these behaviors are going to become uh, going to become compromised. And what we see in Alzheimer's disease is that acetylcholine is one of the first signs. Uh, whether the drop in acetylcholine is typically what you see in many cases of Alzheimer's disease because the neurons that are actually producing this are compromised and begin to die. Right.